The intruder ripped my mouse off my dream turbans. A large creature of brown lumbers through, standing upright rather than all fours down. Sniffing and listening is what it does do. It smells, flicking its ears as the nose tells the scent of river tears. The r- large brown creature walks on all fours, preparing to nurture its hunger more. A gigantic beast braces its whole body and claws, ready for a feast, mother watering its jaws. The river ripples, water roaring with drops that trickles as the salmon are touring. So reddish pink, moving swiftly, giving an aroma stink, being so distinctly. The big brown beast smacks, aiming for one fish at least, as it viciously attacks. One is impaled by a long claw, while still slashing its green tail as the beast's fangs are sharp like a saw. The salmon swishes while being split by the long fangs, trying to hit and bangs. Blood flows going all over the brown beast's jaws as the salmon's life goes, claiming the natural laws. The grizzly eats, burrowing down its meal, with its big feet eating its kill. Another bear, yet this one is white, second to care, and plan something not so bright, it is much bigger, with a long snout, unleashing a trigger for both to go all out. The polar bear is trespassing, making the grizzly growl, letting its meal go passing while the intruder does prowl. Rage, hunger, fills both. The grizzly attacks first while the polar goes for the fish, avoiding the brown beast's fist as it goes for the dish. The grizzly attacks again, not missing this time as the white bear gets out of the lane, dropping in herbs such as thyme. The polar bear gets up from the fall, getting mad, standing up with a roaring call, making the grizzly so glad, so glad to fight, an impermanent, so huge, coming from a land of icy white setting a rouge the grizzly stands up as well coming in for the kill to give the other hell for eating its meal both lunge claws on each other's shoulders the grizzly goes in for a punch as both are like brown and white boulders the polar bear snarls blood pouring from its muzzle as it hurls while the other tussles so much strength so much power between the two like two fighting towers the grizzly smacks the polar pins as neither lacks and neither bends then the bear of the north drops to all four coming forth as it is a little sore the polar bear pans hearing from heat heaving from heat as the grizzly has the higher ground still on his hind feet the white bear smacks the brown bear's paw back paws later attacks with longer fangs and jaws the grizzly growls getting angry as it yowls while the polar pins it to a tree the grizzly's back hits with such impact making the air split both fall to the ground losing breath from the fight both down neither winning for brown or white thank you all so much and this is the 153rd poem reading